Place like Jack's usually, uh, you know, we call a honey hole in a sense because people come knowing that there's live music here and they might not know you or heard of you, but they got the bar set. I'd like to think high enough where they know they'll hear something enjoyable, not too loud, not chasing anybody out, where just anybody, young and old, can get together and enjoy some food and some little bit of conversation, and nothing too loud, and still enjoy the music and they have a good time. My name is Davis Cohen. I play the guitar and I sing and I write music. I've been doing it since I was a little boy. I was about six. I started playing the trumpet and the piano and then I picked up the guitar about 11 and been doing it since then and uh, songwriting from about 16. My dad taught me the guitar. I, I learned the trumpet from my grandma's boyfriend. But the, the trumpet, and it can barely press the keys down now. It's, I need some valve oil on it, but still try to carry it a bit, but you gotta keep up your chops. But uh, the guitar is my, my main and only instrument right now. I'm a Gibson man, for the most part. <laughs> I like the 335 is my favorite. It's only by default, because my other one's got stolen or hopped so by default I uh, have just a 335 but Gibson is a is the one I feel at home with I'm doing a Gulf Coast tour and now we had six dates. We played a Mobile in Ocean Springs and uh, Gulfport, you know, Biloxi, and Hattiesburg, and here in Pascagoula. And I think I might be leaving something out, but uh, it's been a lot of fun. We picked a good time of year to do it, and it's fun to get down here on the coast. Most of them have just been small, uh, small venues, smaller venues, uh, playing solo or two-piece, no drums, no bass, just guitar and vocals.
I'm originally from Charlotte and uh, live now in Oxford by way of Memphis. I lived in Memphis for some years and been in Oxford now through this year. It's pretty vibrant. There's a lot of great talent there and most of the time you go out to certain venues, you know you're going to hear a certain quality of music. Uh, Larry's is a good spot to go to, you know you're going to hear something good. It's a college scene, so you have to cater a bit to the college folks, but it's pretty good. It's very competitive, a lot of talented players up there. Jackson is a thrill and it's a breath of fresh air actually I just I came by on Sunday just to poke around I figured it would probably be closed 
but to see if I can catch Mark up here and just kind of peeked in. I just knew just by looking at it that it was cool. I guess after some years and some hundreds of different venues, you get a good taste of it. And it turned out about how I expected, if not better. It's really cool. And Mark is a real nice, sweet man, knows what he's doing, knows what he's talking about. Well, just judging from the couple of folks that I talked to, it seems like uh, folks here appreciate music, appreciate live music, and embrace it because they're not spoiled with, uh, you know, like some big music cities might be like Nashville or Memphis and uh, I've been received pretty nicely I'm only halfway through so I should count my blessings but so far it's been great I think everybody's been real nice and welcoming and putting their hands together and it's been fun and really relaxing